The trouble with being a kid today is you grow up too quickly. There's just not enough time. Well, for some kids, that is. Where are we this time? Horrible histories. Wow! Horrible histories. Who would do that? A smart, hungry caveman. Good idea. Have any of you seen a girl about so tall, big, uh, cartoony eyes? Oh, and you gotta go. You gotta go. And where's Stitch? I can't find him anyway. Wow! Socrates rocks! Is that the Spanish Armada? Horrible histories. Horrible histories. Horrible histories. Well, Mo, what do you think about all this cool old stuff? We're history! We know you're in there, Stitch. Come out with your hands up! Nope. No way you're taking me alive. Your friend has been watching far too many cowboy movies. Yeah, that. Plus, he's a teeny bit sensitive about needles. He should have thought of that before he sat on that rusty remote control car. That antenna was kind of sharp, wasn't it, Stitch? Great idea, Stitch. Oh. Hey, I thought it would get me to class faster. Look, you need a tetanus shot, young man, to get rid of the poison in your, well, your post-lateral gluteus maximus. Translation, your bum. Without this shot, you'll have to suffer all sorts of nasty things. Nasty things? Like what? Oh, you know, the usual spasms, fever, lockjaw, possible death. Uh, let me try something, Nurse Rictus. What's the matter with you? Just a healthy fear of nurses with needles. It's all so, so barbaric. Barbaric? Ha, <laughs> you don't know how lucky you are. Well, what's so lucky about getting shot? A couple of dozen answers come to mind, but you should see for yourselves. Arrivederci, you two. Ouch! It's really getting tender back there. Ah, disgusting! This water tastes like sweat. Where are we? In the Middle Ages, near the Italian city of Genoa. It's the Renaissance. The year is 1351, and the Leaning Tower of Pisa has only been finished for a year now, and it's already leaning. But amidst these times, there lurks something horrible, a stench that can only be known as death. Dum, dum, dum. You're right. That's one deadly stench. Excuse me. What are you doing? That is not a bathtub. It is my laundry. And you are soaking in a my lord's undergarments. Yuck! Ew! I hope this lord guy is paying you a lot of money to wash his undies. <laughs> Don't be silly. I am a serf, the lowest of the low. I have to wash anything he wishes. Sorry for landing in your laundry. My name's Mo, and this is my mate Stitch. Nicer to meet you. My name is Lucia. Now, if you don't mind, I must get back to my washing. Say, uh, we're kind of new around here. You know where I can get my bum numb? A bum a numb? He needs a doctor's help. Now where we can find one? Oh, yes. Come, I will take you to my lord's house. I didn't know the Renaissance was so cool. People get to nap wherever they want. Oh, they are not a napping. They are dead. Dum, dum, dum. Hey! What's going on here? Oh, just a little thing called the plague. But hey, why don't I paint you a complete picture? Here's how it all started. The plague is a disease that's also known as the bubonic plague. Dum, dum, dum. Or the Black Death. Dum, dum! And it's been knocking around for over 2,000 years. In fact, it was first recorded in China as early as 224 BCE. 
the plague really made a name for itself when it spread westward to India and the Mediterranean, affecting lives, cities, and every aspect of medieval society. In 1348, the plague finally reached Italy, where it was believed to have been spread by trade ships. People were dying left and right, turning these ships into ghost ships before they ever reached port. And once they landed, so did the plague. Dum, dum, dum. Ah, blimey. Nice to know we've arrived at such a happy and festive time. <laughs> Excuse me, pal, but is there a doctor in the house? I am a member of that armored profession. Vindictus is the name, and healing with miracle cures is my game. Okay, will you take a look at me? I've got a really sore... Get in line, young man. I can only cure one patient at a time, and the lord of the manor was here first. Your troubles are over, my lord. You're gonna make chicken soup? No, it is my greatest discovery. A chicken with a shaved bottom, guaranteed to cure the plague. <laughs> is this for real? You bet your fat chicken it is. At a time when no cure existed, people tried all sorts of wacky treatments. Sitting between bonfires was very popular. There was even a vicar who placed dead wolves' bodies in a barrel, thinking that the plague would feed on the wolf skin instead of a human victim. As was standing in front of a latrine and inhaling the fumes. They even tried rubbing fresh butter all over their bodies, a remedy believed to soak up the evil spirits of the plague. So if you ate corn on a cob, you could rub it along your chest and... Stop it. Okay, my lord. You're cured. You can stand up now. Up, my lord. Up! <gasps> He's a dead. Dead? Oh, so much for my great discovery. Now, what do I do? Those clockers were going to be my big ticket out of this flea-infested rat hole of a village. I've just got to find a cure before anyone else does. That's very noble of you, Dr. Vindictus. <laughs> noble? Who cares about that? All I want is to become a famous, because you know what happens when you're famous. You get your face on cereal boxes? You get famously, filthy, famously rich. So, Doc, how's about giving me a look-see? My bum's throbbing away like a hot air balloon. Mamma mia, that's disgusting! So what have I got, Doc? Oh, uh, nothing much. Just an open wound, darkening around the eyes, and woohoo, the, the stench! Well, it's not my fault the odorant hasn't been invented around here yet. <laughs> I tell you what, feel free to uh, stop by my office anytime. Your friend is a goner. He's definitely finito. One cooked goose. If my chicken treatment had worked, hey, maybe he would have had a chance. Oh well, too bad. Ciao! You feel better after seeing the doctor, right? Nick, maybe you should lie down. I've got a better idea, Mo. Let's go to the city. I've got to find someone who can soothe my... Ow! Leave? I cannot leave the manor without a permission from my feudal lord and master. Something tells me he won't mind. I have never left this manor. Although I have heard the city has a lot of wonderful things to wash. All right, let us go. Whoa! Who's that lot? They're called Bekini, thieves who swept through the land pillaging and stealing from plague victims. The Bekini have us surrounded. We are doomed. Dum, dum, dum. We need to shake these guys. Ready? Quick, follow me. This laundry chute leads outside. So, where do you think we can find a doctor around here? That can wait, Mo. They're having a barbecue. Come on, let's see what's cooking. Join the party, pal. We all gonna go sometime, right? Aha! Woohoo! Ow! With the plague everywhere, why are people celebrating? Because the Black Death da -da! affected different people in different ways. 
Most everyone thought it was the end of the world, and reaction to this idea took many forms. After the plague reached Italy, it spread like wildfire. Dum, dum, dum. Dum, dum. Businesses were abandoned and towns were deserted. And with such a shortage in labor, peasants who could work began to rise in society, filling jobs they'd never dreamed of before. And finally, there were those who just wanted to party, figuring that song and revelry was the only remedy for so much sorrow. Well, I suppose you can't blame them. Yeah, I'd go a little crazy too if I thought the world was ending. Hey, what are you shooting at? The air to scare away the plague. Dum -dum! Well, I guess this makes as much sense as chicken under armpits and butter baths. Right you are, Stitch. Many people thought that the plague was transmitted through the air, so they tried to break it up using loud noises. Hey, that's it. I'm a fresh out of cannonballs. Too bad. Looks like you could sure use them against that lot. Oh, it's the Tartars. They've come to seek their revenge. The Tartars were from Central Asia. When the plague first spread through Asia, dum, dum, dum. the Tartars blamed it on the Italians. To get revenge, they attacked in a most unusual way. Take cover and don't touch anything. Ew, was that what I thought it was? They're flinging bodies at us. It might seem incredible, but it's true. The Tartars lobbed the corpses of plague victims over the city walls and ended up spreading the disease. It was the original germ warfare. Run for your lives! The plague! Dum -dum! The plague! Dum -dum! Look, it's a doctor's office. <laughs> May I help you? Yeah, is the doctor in? I got a bum that's becoming a real bummer. Hold it, Stitch. We don't want to scare the man. Uh, can we see the doctor? He's busy. Go away. No, Sir Hemlock. Does this cannoli look fresh to you? <gasps> Dum -dum! You! You're uh, alive! Hiya, Dr. Vindictus. I was just tossing them out, Doctor. What? And throw away my chance at fame? If I can find out what is keeping this boy alive, I'll finally be a famous! Say, you gonna eat that cannoli? Come, Miracle Boy. I must examine you. Then you can have some cannoli. Right on. Does any of this stuff really work? Will you please stop messing with that? It's a, a very expensive equipment. Here, I'm going to run some tests on you. If he's not using magic to keep him alive, then the secret must be inside. He's perhaps in something he ate. That's it! I'll make him <laughs> spill his guts! Quick, drink this. Tasty. What was that? Just a little something made from swamp fungus and lizard parts. It makes one, uh, how you say, regurgitate, expectorate... Uh, barf? <laughs> Tasty. Got any more? I have never seen such a thing. Your body is like a, a freak of nature. You know how many people have told me that? My boy, you are a medical marvel. A gold mine. Hey, don't move. No, same luck. I'm making history. I have found the cure to the plague. Are you talking about the skinny kid? Yes, he has something inside of him that's keeping him alive. Are you sure he has the plague? Do I look like a fool? Of course he does. I'm brilliant, remember? I'll show him off to those snooty tooty big weak doctors at the University of Bologna and become famous! <laughs> come, come. You will be my guest at the University of Bologna. I love Bologna on sandwiches. I'm there. It's a trick. Excuse me, officer. Don't look now, but the people in that building have the pig. Dum -dum! Uh, what's happening? They're 
breaking up the building. He's always been a lousy boss, but how could he do this to me? This is not good. Dun, dun, dun. Dun, dun. This is ridiculous. I can't believe they cemented up a whole building with us inside. This is the plague, Mo, and people were desperate. Town officials wouldn't hesitate to board or brick up a place that had the disease. There were cases where an entire family would get sealed up together. And we're going to rot if we don't all bust out of here! Are you OK? Yeah. Much better after seeing that! How are we going to get up there? With a laundry. Lucia, is that all you ever think of? What I mean is, we can tie the clothes together and make a rope. Now you're talking, Lucia! Vindicta said he was taking Stitch to the city of Bologna. Is there any way you could get us there, Nurse Hemlock? Nurse Hemlock? He ditched us! Why, that no-good, yellow-bellied, back-stabbing, long-leggy... Oh, Paddy, old pal! There you are. Like I said, I'm looking you to bed. Let's hurry. We've got a stitch to catch and a dock to stop. So, how's my favorite medical patient doing? Oh, you know, just... Hanging. Uh, eh, where I come from, that's called comedy gold. Let me out of here, you laughless monster. <laughs> Watch it. Just because I kidnapped you, brought you to this faraway city, and tied you up in a cage is no reason to get a, how you say, snippy. Why are you doing this? I told you, I don't have the plague or the cure. Right, and my mama doesn't make it a spicy meatball. It is time I present you to the medical tribunal. Man, this is not cool. I'm hungry, I miss Mo, and my butt's throbbing. If only I'd taken that tetanus shot, I wouldn't be in this mess. Okay, the coast is clear. Let's just hope Stitch is in here. We're running out of rooms and time. Ah, it's a you two again. Out of my way. So what do we do now? Give me a minute. I'll think of something. Science! This medical tribunal is now in session. Dr. Vindictus, you claim to have made a groundbreaking discovery. <laughs> As you can see, he's sort of the uh, quiet type, so I'll do the talking. He should have been dead! And yet he's not, which leads me to only one conclusion. He's got the cure over the plague! Oh, he's got the cure! He's got the cure! He's got the cure! Oh, he's got the cure! Stitch has the plague? Dum dum! Nah, no plague, just a sore bum. And uh, how do you know that your conclusions are right, Doctor? You dare question Vindictus? Doctor, you have come before this tribunal 14 separate times, and in each case you have a jump to conclusions. Yes, I did. But this is a different. Just look at him. Darkened eyes, foul stench, open wound. There's no reason he should be alive. I'll stake my medical license on it. Uh-huh. So, where is his boo-boo? <laughs> It's right here! This is a, only an infected blister, probably the result of something poking him. But it's definitely not a the plague. You see, I tried to tell you, but you just wouldn't listen. It seems that you are wrong again, Vindictus. Now, hand over your medical license. Well, back off, or I'll throw away again. Huh? No, no. <laughs> I'll throw away this inkwell at you! I'm not a kid. You just want to steal my discovery. That the skinny freak is a mine. Hey, uh, watch it with the name calling, how about? Arrivederci, Sarkis. Come on, Sarkis. Let's go. 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 Let
Come on, Lucia. This is where we step in. Hey, nice catch, Mo. Hello, Doctor. Remember me. This is an affair. I'm a genius, don't you get it? I don't want to be squashed into a spicy meatball! Yeah, grazie for your help here. It would have been nice to have found the cure, but someday we will. We just have to keep searching. I only wish this thing was as easy to get rid of as a vindictus. I could get that out for you. A little rubbing alcohol and it's as good as new. Oh! <gasps> Fantastico! We could use someone like you around here. How would you like to be the university's chief launderer? Me? I'm no longer a lowly, humble serf? All right! When can I start? Right now! Well, I suppose Lucia is happy. Yeah, but for how long? What's to save her from the plague? Dum -dum! Oh, don't worry about Lucia. Her cleanliness is a healthy habit. Working in all that soapy water helps to ward off the germs. So, do they ever find a cure? Yeah, but not in the Middle Ages. It wasn't until 1894 that the French scientist Alexander Yersin discovered the bacteria that caused the plague. Dum -dum! The bacteria came from fleas on rats, so the spread of disease could finally be controlled. Eventually, antibiotics were found to treat the dreaded disease. I have to admit, medicine has come a long, long way. I should be thankful there's even a cure for... Ow! What I have, needles or not. I think you've got the point, Stitch. Now let's get you back to that tetanus shot before you get cold feet. Or lockjaw. All right, Nurse Rictus, give it to me. My mind is at peace, my body knows no pain. All done. My butt is robust. My glue. What? Huh? I already gave you the shot. So I'm cured? That's it? Pretty much. Just don't go riding around on any more toy cars. You see, needles aren't so bad. You're right. They'll never plague me again. Dum, dum, dum.